While some objects in our world generate curiosity and amazement, others have caused disasters, distress, fear, and sometimes even fatalities. This list is full of mysterious objects like this, so keep watching to find out the top 10 most cursed objects in the world. Number 10. The Crying Boy Painting There are a load of supposedly cursed paintings in the world, a lot of which reportedly bring death to those that own them. One particularly interesting painting is The Crying Boy, painted by Giovanni Bragolin in the 1950s as part of a series. It proved to be quite popular in its time, but it turns out the owners of this painting were met with a strange and eerie set of events. Multiple owners of the painting have been reported to have suffered a terrible fire in their homes. Two of which happened for the same reason, a chip pan became too hot and exploded. Many things were destroyed in the blaze, but in both instances, the painting remained untouched. The rumor then blew up even more as a firefighter claimed that he had been to 15 houses where he found that painting completely untouched. The Sun, a popular tabloid newspaper in the UK, ran story after story, claiming more and more people had been sufferers of bad luck through owning the painting. It was concluded that the painting must have been printed on flame retardant material. But for those families back in the days of the 60s and 70s, the curse is all too real. Another more modern painting that has been claimed to be cursed also exists in the UK and is entitled The Anguished Man. There are a lot of cursed artists out there by the sounds of it. Number 9. Thomas Busby's Dead Man's Chair Thomas Busby was a murderer who lived in the north of Yorkshire in the UK around the 1600s. Busby married Elizabeth, the daughter of a man named Daniel Oidy. He and Daniel became friends and partners in crime for quite a while, though supposedly Busby was always in the fullest of moods with Oedi. One fateful day, Busby grew so angry with Oedi that Oedi actually made his way round to Thomas Busby's end and threatened to take Elizabeth home with him. What made the dangerous drunkard even more angry was that Oedi was sitting in his favorite seat. Busby threw him out and later that night, went over to his house with a hammer and murdered Daniel Oedi. He was sentenced to death for the crime. The legend goes that Busby cursed his favorite chair before he left to be killed and wished death upon all those that sat on it. Strangely enough, in 1894, a chimney sweep was found dead out near Busby. Gibbet the sweep had sat in that cursed chair. Again, during the Second World War, a team of RCAF men were coding each other to sit in the chair. None of the men would make it back home alive and were killed in the war. Once again, in 1968, the soon-to-be landlord Tony Aaron Shaw reported hearing two airmen daring each other to sit in the chair. They both reportedly crashed in a car on the way back to the airfield. Fortunately, the seat now hangs as an attraction in the first museum so no one can sit. Number 8. James Dean's car. James Dean was an incredibly popular actor decades ago, just before he performed in his most famous role, a lead role in A Rebel Without a Cause. He had begun trying to kickstart a career in car racing. He competed in one competition before Warner Brothers banned him from taking part in any competitions while filming for the movie Giant. Unfortunately, this ban went unheeded and James Dean sadly crashed his Porsche 550 Spider and died. But the story gets weird when we focus on the car in question. Famous actor Alec Guinness recalls looking at Dean's car, turning to James and telling him he was going to die in it and that it was a sinister car. After James died, George Bars bought the wrecked Porsche for $2,500. Strangely, a mechanic broke his leg getting it off the trailer. The car parts were integrated into other Porsches, two of which crashed killing one person and seriously injuring another. Number 7. The Skull of Catherine Griffith Catherine Griffith lived in Burton Agnes Hall around the 1600s. Supposedly the story goes that one afternoon when the house was almost officially finished Catherine was robbed by a group of thugs who also beat her to death. She had told her sisters before she died that she would never rest until a part of her was safe in that house. Yet her sisters forgot about this, and she was buried in the churchyard. The house proceeded to be haunted by her ghost, 
The sisters, realizing their mistakes, sought to make peace with the vicar and asked if they could dig up their sister. The grave was dug up and Catherine's skulls brought into the house. After a while, many attempts were made to get rid of it, but every single time, strange and ghostly things would happen around the house. It is believed that all these years after the skull is still in the house, built into the walls. Thank God she is in the house because she'd be causing a fuss if she wasn't. Number 6. Robert the Doll Robert Eugene Otto was the first owner of this doll, which resembles a boy with a sailor suit on. His relationship with the doll was very questionable. Supposedly a young Robert began to blame mishaps and accidents on the doll. Servants also reported that he had closed door conversations with the doll, saying they could also hear a deeper tone voice replying and conversing with the child. Robert's relationship with the doll continued into his adult life. He reportedly treated it like a real person, and the two of them were inseparable. After Otto's death, many people reported hearing giggling and footsteps from the attic and children that passed by Robert's house would often claim to see the doll move from the window regularly. Although the doll is locked in a glass case in a museum now, people still report that lights flicker, cameras malfunction, and tourists must ask to take a picture of Robert or suffer dire consequences. Speaking of dolls that inspire movies, did you know that the Annabelle doll is also real? It looks a bit different than the one in the movie, but it's just as scary. Number 5. The Bassano Vase The Bassano Vase is probably one of the oldest artifacts in this list. It was carved from silver in the 15th century. The legend goes that it was a gift made for a bride who resided in a northern village close to Naples. However, on her wedding night, the bride was found lying on the floor, dead clutching the vase. After the woman's funeral was sorted out, the vase began to be handed down from family member to family member. But with each person that decided to take ownership of the vase came another suspicious death. Some reports even state that the vase had a piece of parchment in it that read beware this vase springs death, but that it was thrown out very early on. An archaeologist took ownership of vase only to die of an unknown infection. And one of the vase's last known actions was to nearly hit a policeman on the head as someone threw it out of a window. It was handed over to police who tried to give it to museums, who all flat out refused to take it. After a while, it was buried in an undisclosed location. Some even claimed that it was considered so dangerous. It was buried in a lead coffin and put in an ancient cemetery. Wherever it is, let's hope it stays in the ground. Number 4. The Hope Diamond It was supposedly stolen by a thief from the face of an idol standing by an Indian temple. The thief suffered a slow, agonizing death. Shortly after this, it was then uncovered again and was sold to King Louis XIV by a French merchant who soon met his death as well. Of course, Louis and his wife, Marie Antoinette, are often referred to as victims of the diamond as they were beheaded in the overthrowing of the monarchy. From then, everybody that was reported to have owned the diamond has suffered a horrible death. There are a lot of jewels that are said to be cursed, such as the Delhi Purple Sapphire, another jewel stolen from its resting place and passed around owners. Each owner has reportedly suffered bad financial situations and health problems. When will we learn that jewels stolen from spiritual places can cause bad luck by the bucket full? Number 3. Maori Warrior Mask The Maori people are the indigenous or original inhabitants of New Zealand before settlers went over there. Their ancient practices remain a bit of a mystery to historians, but what we do know is the masks from those times were carved before battle. It was said that if the warrior died in battle, his soul would be encased in the mask forever. Sounds like just another silly story. Well, at the Auckland Museum, the Masa are accompanied with their own warning messages and one Wellington-based museum known as Te Papa, a Maori name that translates as Our Place, tells pregnant women to stay away from a tour of sacred Maori artifacts or risk incurring a curse. I would say it is all a bit silly to be true, but you never really know what the ancient and mystical cultures. Number 2. The Woman of Lem Statue Those that know the history call it the Goddess of Death, having been created around 3500 BC. 
Many historians believe it was probably a statue representing fertility. Lord Oliphant was its first reported owner after its mysterious background. Within six years, all the members of his family were dead. Its next owner, Manucci and his family, died within a shorter four-year period. And surprise, the third owner, a Lord Thompson Knoll, and his family had perished within four years as well. It vanished for a brief period, and within that period, it came into the ownership of Sir Alan Biverbrook, who died along with his wife and daughters, the two sons of Alan that survived the curse, donated the statue to the Royal Museum of Edinburgh, and is now readily available for any brave tourist that doesn't believe in silly superstition. Number 1. Petrified Forest National Park this last one is an extremely interesting case of multiple cursed objects. The Petrified Forest National Park in Arizona has enticed and attracted visitors for quite some time now. It has one of the world's largest collections of petrified wood, which results in an amazing experience, as well as an educational one for those not familiar with the science behind wood. All throughout its history, People have taken bits of wood home as little souvenirs, so much so that they've made it a felony. But has that stopped people? Absolutely not. Around 1930, people who visited the park and took a piece of wood would complain of experiencing a lot of bad luck. It has since become part of the National Park's history. In fact, there is a whole room at the park dedicated to the telling of bouts of bad luck, divorces, incarcerations and deaths that have followed from a stolen bit of petrified wood. So, many people have expressed a havoc caused by the pieces of wood in their love life. Specifically, someone tell these people, you can buy souvenirs from the shop that have been legally acquired from the land. Please, which cursed object freaked you out the most? Did I miss any important ones? Let me know in the comments down below, and thanks for watching.